I don't know how to put this in a nice way. Like, I'm really going to be as nice as I can to Amir just because he seems like a good guy, but, like, he's literally delusional as fuck. He doesn't know shit. Think about it right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Think about it. He had the same type of hand speed as me, right? Yep. He was close. He was on this shit. The thing he didn't have is the brain. He didn't. He wasn't smart. When he fought, he, he just did dumb shit, and he only relied on the speed. The one thing, I, I got speed and power. I got two things. And I got this. And I'm a fucking beast at all other aspects of boxing when it comes outside of boxing and everything. Like, he just didn't reach his full potential. And it sucked because he probably could have. But he didn't. And now he wants to talk shit and say um, he's trying to act like something he's not. First of all, you don't know who I am. Mm. You don't know who I am. First of all, I might be a pretty boy and whatnot. But, like, if people get disrespectful, I'm going to get disrespectful. I, and that's the difference between me and everybody else. Like, I, I don't have to act like Oscar De La Hoya. I don't have to act like anybody. Everybody's, oh, I'll compare him to Oscar. I'm comparing me. I'm not comparing myself. Hold on, I'm sorry. No, I'm, cool. not, I'm not comparing myself. I don't say I want to be Oscar. That's the problem with Gervonta. It's the problem with all these cats. Oh, I want to be like Floyd. I'm like pretty boy. First of all, be yourself. Mm. You're Gervonta and Davis. I am Ryan Garcia. We are the new generation. <laughs> Stop trying to like hold on to the past. Somebody has to pass them up. Remember that. Somebody has somebody has to pass Floyd. Somebody has to pass Man- Manny Pacquiao. Somebody has to pass Austin Bell Lawyer. But like I said, I pay my respect. Respect everybody. You know, I, you know they're doing a they did a great job. Uh, you know, new generation changing the guards and. I'm, I'm really, I'm really coming into my own, you know, I came into, you know, my, my body and, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking for emotions. Like I wouldn't be talking the shit I'm talking about talking if I wasn't as good as I think I know I am. Is, is, is there any, you know, Matt, I mean, obviously I saw what you put out on, on social media, what you put out on Twitter. Um, is, is there any like final message you just want to give them here? Not so much about, you know, oh, I'll hurt you. And, and like, not that, but just more so about, listen, man, like, you know, I know you sparred Devin Haney, but, you know, recognize my skills as well. No, nah, it just basically you don't know me, so don't try to act like you know me. Don't talk on the side, like don't talk like you're my friend, like my homeboy, and mm. you know you know my skills, you know everything about me, you know the type of person I. He talked he talked about me like he knew the person I am. Mm. He was like, oh yeah, he was like, oh Ryan is acting like somebody he's not, but it was like it was like look, I'm gonna in the ring it shows who you truly are. So come spar me, we can do it low key. Mm. But when you get back on the interview. You better tell them what it is, cause I I will fuck up Amir Khan. He could come in at one sixty. He could not fuck with me at all. I will fucking hurt Amir Khan. Mm. Amir Khan was a pussy when he fought Crawford. Straight up, every time he has a fighting chance, he quits. What mm. the fuck is going on here, Dad? I don't know. Well, he fucked up from Breedis first fight. Breedis Prescott. Like I said, he got so high on his abilities. Mm. And, and and I did too, but I got I got humbled on a young age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got humbled at like when I was like eighteen, nineteen. Yeah. I, I had two hard fights, and I was like, it, it, you know, it it was a lot of distractions on the outside of the ring, mm-hmm. and I, I thought I was so good I could just come and obliterate these dudes. Yeah. But then it was all meant for a reason. God was like, nah, fam, you cannot do that all the time. You're gonna need to train every day. Like it's a big fight you need to work on your skills work on the game plan you need to prepare you need to take the shit serious and once he god taught me that i feel like sky's the limit and i'm never gonna stop learning hard tell my dad that i was like dude once you stop trying to learn you think you got it in the bag yeah you're, you're just we write this shit down i write things down i have a whole book i'm gonna release a book on how to box damn I'm That's le- smart. I, 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 I do i'm writing a movie I, I, but i don't like pay attention on i only like you know you got to strategize your time, you know? Right. Uh, so I, I'm working on a lot of things, but it's like my main thing is boxing. Like, I think I broke like a good, maybe like 50 pages. A good chapter. A good, yeah, a good chapter. 50 pages on just boxing and what I've learned, my, my experiences. Um, mm-hmm. and, and what I see on like how to make a world champion, how to make a superstar. There's a difference, you know, a champion, yeah. superstar. There's a, there's a big difference. So, mm-hmm. um, 
I'm just I'm just happy that I'm blessed to be in my, my position and I thank God every day. Like thank you God. You you're literally looking out for me. Thank you.